Well, from technology to science to politics, this month we're highlighting and reflecting on the trailblazing women who fought for change and those who continue to have an impact on current and future societal accomplishments. Well, tonight our Brittany Moncrease introduces us to three black women neurosurgeons working right here in the Mid-South. Brittany? That's right, Rudy. It's all about changing the narrative. Less than 2% of neurosurgeons in the U.S. are women. And we sat down with three black female neurosurgeons who went from seeing little representation in their field to being the representation in their field. It's good to see you. Impossible. <laughs> Just means possible. Dr. Sonia Eden is a neurosurgeon at Sims Murphy Clinic. I certainly couldn't imagine doing anything else. I love what I do every day. And every day she's making an impact both inside and outside medicine. There are 3,500 approximately board certified neurosurgeons in the country. Of those, approximately 2% are African American or black neurosurgeons. Of that, roughly 30 are black women. I feel proud that I'm one of those few. But then it's also really sad. I mean, it shouldn't be that way. I mean, this is 2023. I was or am the first black female neurosurgeon to practice in the state of Mississippi. Some of my first patients, they cried and hugged me because they had never seen anyone look like me and they were surprised. Dr. Minervier Gaddis and Dr. Lynn Mobita are also neurosurgeons at Sims Murphy Clinic. Finding someone who looked like me and understood where I was coming from was one of the main challenges. I had a number of people tell me, maybe you shouldn't do this or maybe you should try another field. A feeling they fought within. Telling myself that I belong because I do belong. You know, I worked hard just like anybody else. Belonging to me means that there should be no barriers. Which is why they're knocking them down. Finally, I'm here. You know, sometimes I catch myself. I'm like, I'm a whole neurosurgeon. <laughs> That's just insane to me. The more representative physicians are or the healthcare workforce is of the patients that we treat, the better the outcomes are. And not just for patients, but for the medical field itself. The most rewarding thing being a neurosurgeon is mentoring younger kids that look like me and they look up to me and see that this is something that they can do. It brings tears to my eyes just thinking about it. Tears of passion bringing change. Me, you, and the Lord. That's right. That's right. We got this. The three of us are really going to do what we can to make a difference and to bring people, more people, into neurosurgery, more black women physicians. And Rudy Pepper, this is something that you don't normally think about in male-dominated fields. Actually, Dr. Eden was telling us that she actually had to do hand exercises mm -hmm. just so she can grip some of the equipment for surgeries because oftentimes equipment is made for men. Absolutely so right. it's, it, you don't think about that. You would think in 2023 it wouldn't be like that. And just to see the challenges that women still face is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely. And she's also one of the founders of the American Society for Black Neurosurgeons to help recruit, support, and retain black neurosurgeons. Huge reception for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. All right. Absolutely. Thank you, Brittany. Great report, <laughs> definitely.